we are going to solve this differential equation. We have dx dt equals to k times a minus x times b minus x, where a and b are not the same. And we also have an initial condition, x of 0 is equal to 0. Notice that x and t are the variables. The a, b, and the k are the constants. In our situation, the x is the dependent variable, t is the independent variable. Anyways, to solve this, we first have to collect all the x along with dx on one side and all the t's and dt to get on the other side. Let's divide both of these factors to the uh, left hand side. So it looks like we have dx over a minus x times b minus x, and this will be k, and we bring the dt to the right hand side, so k dt. And then we can integrate both sides, integrate this, integrate that. And check out this video to do how to uh, how to do the integration of that. The answer for this is going to be 1 over a minus b times ln absolute value a minus x over b minus x. And I'm not going to put on plus a constant because I just need a constant on the right hand side. This is integral of k in the t world is just kt and now this is my first constant so I'll write down plus c1. All right let's multiply everything by a minus b, so I can get rid of this factor. So it looks like we have ln absolute value a minus x over b minus x in the absolute value. This will be a minus b times that, a minus b times kt, plus a minus b is a constant, c1 is also a constant, so we can call this plus c2. Okay? And my goal is to solve for x, isolate the x, x is a function of t. And to do that, we have to first get rid of the ln. We can do that by e to the power, so they cancel, and we can do e to this power. And then we will get absolute value a minus x over b minus x, and this will be e to the dot, it's the function part, but e to the positive c2, it's a constant. I can call that to be c3. It's a multiplying with the function part, which is e to the a minus b times kt. All right, now we have to get rid of this absolute value. To do that, we do what? We just get rid of this, get rid of that, and put a plus minus on the right hand side. And then we can end up with a minus b over b minus x. a minus x over b minus x equals to plus minus c3. I don't know what it is. I will just call that c4, and this is still the function part e to the a minus b times kt. All right. To get x by itself, we need to multiply both sides by b minus x so that they cancel on the left hand side, and we also do that, multiply by b minus x. And with that being said, we have what? Let's see. On the left hand side, we just have a minus x. That's pretty nice. And on the right hand side, we'll take this, multiply with that, but be careful with this, because here I have C4, and I'll have to take this term and distribute into two parts, right? Two terms right here. Even though B is a constant, C4 is a constant, I will just have to put them as how they are, B times C4. I'm not going to introduce C5, because I have to use this C4 to multiply with X, okay? So this times that we get B times C4, and the function part is the E to the a minus b times kt, and then we take this, multiply with x, so let me just write down minus x, well technically I should write down the constant first usually, right? So minus c4x e to the a minus b kt. And now we have to collect all the x terms on one side, everything else onto the other, so I will just add c4x e to the a minus b kt on both sides, so they cancel, so I'll do that right here as well, plus c4x e to the a minus b kt, okay? Well, check this out. I also have a plus a right here, so that's minus a here, so that's they cancel, so I'll put on the minus a right here. This and that, they both have an x term. I have to factor out the x and put the x at the end. So. We are going to have something right here, and then we have the x. Because remember, x is a function of time. 
So I don't want to write it as an x and a parentheses after that. Because here I'm emphasizing I have something multiplied with x. So this part I'll put it down first because it's positive. We have the c4 right here. So let's put on c4 and the x is right here. And we have the e to the a minus b kt. And then originally here we have minus x. I factor the x so we have minus 1. And then on the right hand side we have this minus that. So it's a b c4 e to the a minus b times kt and then minus a. And then the last touch is I have to divide both sides by this factor and we'll be done. We can get x by itself. So we have x right here is equal to this over that. That's all. So b c4 e to the a minus b to the kt power, right, like this all together, minus a divided by that. c4 e to the a minus b kt and then we have the minus 1 like this and this is a general solution and I can say this is x of t x is the function of time this is the general uh, solution however we do have an initial condition so I have to plug in t is equal to 0 and x will be 0 okay so let me just do that real quick um, if let me just do it right here. For, I want x to be 0, and this will be when t is equal to 0. In another word, this is just going to be 1, right? e to the 0 power is just 1, and e to the power is, e to the 0 is just 1. So technically, I just have b to the, uh, b times c4, right? b times c4, minus a over c4 minus 1. I have to solve for c4. Well, this is a fraction, and I am setting a fraction equal to 0. All I care about is just numerator to be 0, right? So I need to have b times c4 minus a to be 0. And you can just do an algebra. You do this, you do that. You get c4 equals to what? a over b. All right. So with that being done, we know what exactly the solution is, the particular solution with that initial condition. So I just have to plug in a over b to c4. It looks like we have b times a over b times that e to the a minus b kt and then we have the minus a over c4 which is that a over b e to the a minus b kt minus 1 so far so good and then right here we have this b and that b can cancel each other out but then look at this we have a small complex fraction so technically, uh, to be uh, slightly picky, I will, div I, I will just I multiply the top and bottom by the lowest common denominator, which is the b. Okay, Let's multiply b and b. So I can uh, conclude everything nicely. So this is my final answer, I promise. We have what? This term times b, we have the ab. Let me, let me just like, write it down below so we can have a nice area for it. ab e to the power, e to the a minus b, kt, right, all that, and then minus a times b, over, when you do this times that, the b cancels, we just have the a left, a, and then we have e to the a minus b, kt power, all together like this, and then we have b times negative 1, so it's minus b. Okay, this is it. This is a solution.